Even did not have any Mag 7s, baby. You're tripping, fam. They would have had like 4.5. <laughs> they could have bought pistol armor and still afforded to buy this round. Because I'm watching right now, like, my girlfriend has the stream open. They all have Deagle armor. All, for, all of them. I guess they just had a whole oh. bunch of extra money because they literally all have Deagle armor. Huh. That's kind of weird. Everyone's watching the stream and telling him what's happening. What about you, Yanko? Hype for this? Yeah, definitely. I mean, as you said, we have some things, teams going home. I, I thought I should dress well for the funeral of Virtus Pro. And oh, wow. It will be the T side South of Vegas squad. It's a very fast round going straight up towards Shaw. No grenades really expended as of yet. It's Christian to defend Ooh. and defend he shall. Gets the first headshot, takes down the bomb. Not a bad start. Very good start. Swings up. Ooh. As well, look at the accuracy from Chris. Yeah, that's start with an ace, good. maybe? Maybe. He's got a chance to go for JR as well. He's got that four headshots. He won't get the ace with the choppers over by Sonny, but that is certainly a good start. I just gotta change my prediction. He's to fall back. JDM at least holding the up over. Have time. Yeah, that's because Boomage backed off. Now, I guess that gives you. The lesser of two evils, the one you know versus the one you don't. This guarantees a one versus one clutch rather than being caught out before the plant even happens. He thinks he's it's full. Op versus M4. And Kenny might outplay them on this. It's a fast shot. Now Boomich knows exactly where he is, but Kenny is very quick. Boomich going back for an off angle. Kenny's able to spot it. 3 HP as he gets away on the AWP's bot space. But Boomich is going directly to war! Kenny, yes! Up close! That's unbelievable. <laughs> Slowly deciding where to go. This is going to be just a, a straight up execute, probably within the next 15 seconds or so. They can't just sit here. They have all five players, so it has to come quick, and there's only two defenders here. Reinforcements are a long way off. See how it goes. Crims goes into the bomb site. They might be in a little bit of trouble. Crims with a great spray finds the headshot on the third. Deagle comes in, and Crims takes down four. What a great sequence. Looked like they weren't in that much of a position there. They could have easily fallen that bomb site. And yeah. So it is down to time. It. Oh, and the, the sound as well. Next running right into it. Somehow, he gets that loop jump in. The spray is through. And Next is going to be able to win it. The triple kill in the end. Cajun B is going to be lying awake for a very long time if they lose this game. You see the head shake. In this game down the stretch. First on to Cajun B. This one is tough. This is a great hit, a great execute. And uh, against SK, though, they struggled. Two maps they leave in are the two ones that they put in. And taking him, and he's already pushed into that boost corner. Now smoke to get out. Almost looked like he was being tracked there. Villain for them. Rain, he's going to get dropped, but Olaf is still hiding back here. I'm not sure they realize that he's actually there. Kerrigan, he's got the lineup. He sees the gun barrel, and that's an easy kill on Fallen. Now down to 10 seconds. And Taco, still a bit paranoid, but he's got to go for the ball. Plus You are now career-wise about whether or not these guys can still do it. I think it's important to remember situations where you won not because of individual performances, and I think these guys have played for so long. And I don't know. Look at the look at the tournaments where teams will take a break before and they'll come in and, mm. and just destroy people. There's no way these guys are sitting here saying that hey, Snacks couldn't do a one versus one right now against some player and outskill him. So they have to know, as I, I know, for instance, at this stage, even if I take a couple months off, the mechanical skills... For the time being. So the in is are back, just making sure left and right are the right way around. Never want those crossed. Just the prospect, James, that VP could exit a major, you know, like 0-3 in the group stage. That is 
that is just so it's sad, isn't it? Just you know, being present throughout their history in CS:GO, it's just uh, we, we've seen a decline or just you know bumpy ride with them the last few years, but still. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, a ride anymore. Hated from the major, and Cloud9 are fighting for survival. Great performance from Cloud9. They just turned up and they did the thing that they meant to do in their game plan. I'm sure they talked a lot about against VP. We could see, you know, the history between the two teams. It's going to mean a lot for Cloud9 to keep their heads above water here and to defeat VP along the way. But for VP, we have to wonder where the story goes from this point. Again, we saw it. The streak of major runs and making it through to the playoffs it was so consistent. It was the one sure thing we all felt. It, it was, was buying every single round. What? Why the fuck did they not buy here? What's going on, actually? <laughs> I'm literally so confused. I'm so fucking confused, man. What, what? Why did they not buy? Why did they not full buy? What? Or with a lot with a team called Pentagram, they've they've played this game and given their lives to this game. Um, when there was no prize money, when there was no salary. So whatever comes next, I think seeing the, and you'll probably understand this as well, seeing the, some of like the disrespect that comes out from the community towards these guys and these players, Powerful. it doesn't oh, sit well. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a team that, you know, the word legend gets thrown around. You saw Stewie there perfectly fine, but the word legend gets thrown around for any old reason. It, it's really losing its value. But for these guys, like legend doesn't even come close to what they've contributed to this scene. Whether any of these players retire, whether we never see this lineup again, I don't know. But this this community, this Counter Strike scene, is going to miss something when this lineup does go away. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. John, do you have anything to add to that? Obviously, competed against them many times down the years no. in various versions of Counter Strike. Hundred percent agree with Jason. I mean, I was I was watching these guys while I was still in my mom's bed. You know, she's still serving me cereal. I'm still in my mom's house, just <laughs> watching these guys. I, I mean, I still eat some cereal at my mom's house occasionally. But anyways, um, I've been watching these guys my since. My mom's house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they'll uh, they'll pick something else. We'll. See Look how close Zantares is to his screen. I'm surprised he's not wearing three pairs of glasses. Really filling his vision. All that's in his mind is the screen. But can he fill the eyes of Gambit? With not this match, they'll both be in action tomorrow. Maybe more than once. Two to ten space soldiers getting spanked at the moment. Dozy will continue. Early B on his own. With four plays for Gambit towards Ooh. A. Zantaris, what was that? Can he get more though? Looking for it. He spots the head, but it's he who's dead. And all of a sudden, Engine and Paz are the last men standing. A spark of brilliance from Zantares, but.